joke? Uh, Chinese. You got a joke? Okay. Mm. Chinese or English? Uh, English. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the car lands over and always on the back of the car. The wheel is uh, right four times four. Uh, okay, the yeah. wheel, the yeah. right, four by four, okay. And the, the, the owner, is, uh, they got the car, it's a new car. Mm -hmm. And the next day, somebody write it, it's equal 16. <laughs> okay, and, and the four owner, by four, and then he wrote equal 16 yeah. on the wheel of the Land Rover, okay? Yeah, the new new car. Uh -huh. And the, the, next, the, the owner tried to paint it off and uh, make it nice and clean. The, Next day, it happened again. Again, <laughs> so the owner got a good idea. He, he got a, a nice paint, just painted nice and beautifully, equal sixteen. Uh -huh. Yeah, and and he thought, oh, he thought thought the problem, um, but uh, next day, and uh, he found the car this uh, tick yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. Right. <laughs> okay, that reminds me of another joke. Huh? There was a guy who, who parked just a simple car, you know, in a parking lot, and he put a, a, a cardboard outside, the sign saying, There's nothing valuable in the car. <laughs> you know it, right? All of you? Okay. So that people don't break in. He said, there's nothing really valuable in my car. Okay. When he came back, the car was broken and everything turned upside down, inside out. I said, my God, why? I already wrote the sign like that, nothing valuable. Why somebody even bother to break in my car? And he looked in the compartment, there was a sign inside saying, we just check if you tell the truth or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more. You have any? Anybody upstairs or in the garage? Have a joke? Oh. Okay. Shy, Shy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but we are all family here, you know? It's just family. Yeah? No. No? Oh, too bad. Oh, well. For what? Family? John can't marry. Okay. Yeah, one guy got my John can run home. And another, I mean, the next morning, he got up and found uh, his wife uh, make very beautiful breakfast for him. But breakfast. every time when he when he got drunk and go home next morning, his wife always uh, I mean scold him and uh, make very bad face uh, to him. Mm -hmm. He got confused. You got it, guys? Okay, okay. The wife always scold her husband whenever he's drunk and come home. But this time he's drunk and wake up in the morning with a beautiful breakfast. So he's confused, wondering what's happened. Yeah, and he, he asked his son, so, so what did I do last night? His son said, last night when my mom and took off you clothes, you said, get, get rid of me, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> get off me, I'm married. When he was drunk, he said that. Because the, the wife was taking his clothes off for him. And he was drunk, he said, get off me, I'm married. That's why she's happy. Ah, good idea. Okay. Very good. <laughs> because people think that when they're drunk, they tell the truth, you know. So she's happy that he's faithful. That's what it is. Okay. Maybe he wasn't that drunk. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? He didn't tell me. <laughs> he pretended, huh? He pretended. Anyone? Ah, okay, good. It's one here. We go home now? Oh, one. 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 It's a very short one. All right, don't uh, worry. <laughs> Keep it long. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that uh, Winston Churchill, yeah. is, he was not a very nice man. And one day, there was a woman talked to him that, uh, Sir, if I were your wife, I would give you a, a poison to drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Then he said, Well, if you, were my, if you were my wife, I would drink it. I drink it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my wow. Yeah. My he's, God. He's cruel. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't clap like that when I told <laughs> a joke. <laughs> Go ahead. A, a Colombian dog in the jungle with his lord, and he gets lost. And now the sign, this panther was just about to eat him. 
And I said, oh my God, what do I do now? He's a little dog. And so when he saw the, the panther just about to attack him, he started cleaning his nails. Because that was a nice panther I just ate. So the panther said, oh my God, he's a dangerous dog. He just went. So the monkey was, was looking at the dog. Mm -hmm. And then um, he went to the panther and said, you know, you're a stupid panther. You know, that dog just tricked you. I said, how come? I said, well, I was just looking at everything. He didn't eat any panther. I was just an skeleton of another animal there. I said, well, prove it to me. I said, well, let's go together. So then the dog was trying desperately to um, get his bearings around, and he could not. And then he saw the panther again, mm -hmm. at this time with the monkey. Uh -huh. I said, oh, God, that monkey. Mm -hmm. And then the panther said, all right, you stay here, and I'm going to eat that dog now. <laughs> so the dog desperately said, oh my God, please, please enlighten me. I said, ah, okay. So he waited there and said, that stupid monkey is taking love with the other panther. What, what would be the problem? Taking what? what? That stupid monkey what? The stupid monkey is taking too long with the other panther I sent uh, to bring him out. Yeah? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You understand? There's one more here. You don't understand? Oh, yeah, okay. Because the panda is coming back to them with the monkey. So the dog uh, was trying desperately. So he said, Oh, that stupid monkey. How come it took him so long to bring back this panda? The second panda. It looked like he sent the monkey to send the panda to him to eat. Oh, well, ha ha. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good, good. Okay. I need some more champagne. <laughs> How many fingers already? Oh. <laughs> okay, um, there's these three guys, um, Fanamava and his friends, and they're in the deserts, and they come across this um, lamp. So the one, Fanamava says, you know, ah, you know, uh, we must rub this lamp. <laughs> you know, maybe there's a genie inside it. So... You must what? Uh, uh, rub the lamp. Okay. Yeah. So they're rubbing it and rubbing it, and all of a sudden, whoom, out comes this genie. So the genie says, I can grant you each one wish, only one wish. So Fanamava's one friend says, ah, I just want some water, just some water so it can cool me down from this hot sun. So he says, your wish is my command. So whoom, there comes the water. So he's very happy, busy drinking his water, and he's cooling down. Then Fanamava's other friend goes, Ah, oh, I only wish for a fan, cool myself down. That way it would be better from the hot sun. So the genie goes, Your wish is my command. <laughs> so, boom, out comes the fan. <laughs> so he fans himself and he's very, very happy. So Fanamava is sitting there really hard thinking, What can I wish for? You know? <laughs> so he goes, friend? The third friend? Yeah. Okay. So he goes, Ah, I know. So he goes, Sorry, uh, can I have a, a car door? So the genie looks at him and um, the genie shakes his head and he goes, your wish is my command. So vump, he gets a car door. And the other two are like, a car door? One's got water, one's got, why do you want a car door? So they go up to Fanamava and they say, Fanamava, why did you want a car door out of all the things you could have wished for? So Fanamava goes, you know, when it gets hot, I can just roll down the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, good, good. <laughs> yeah, I tell the joke meanwhile, huh? Just she reminds me. There was a man who found the lamp, yeah? And rub, 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 came out the genie. Yes, master, what can I do for you? Big and powerful. And so the so-called master say, well... Of course, I want something nice, but how many things can I have? Ah, he say, you have only one wish, huh? Say, so, okay, let me think, let me think. And he thought, and he say, oh, you know what? Every day I have to um, drive very far in order to go across the river, you know, to find a way to go across the river. Why don't you just make me a bridge, you know? And then I don't have to drive a long way. You know already the joker. Am I? So the the genie look at the river, it's so big and wide, and say, "Oh my God, it's very difficult. It would take like ten years to make it." <laughs> so the man say, "Well, okay, okay. If it's difficult, then make me understand my wife." 
<laughs> and the genies. Okay, okay. What color you want the bridge? <laughs> oh, you know the joke. Right? Anyway, it's just the internet. Okay, what next? I think it's late. Are huh? we going home, eh? Family? No. no? Oh. Your family is not waiting for you? No. 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 <laughs> I know. Just worry your family might think you should go home. This is our huh? family. You okay? Yes. All right. It's hard, huh? I tell you a joke. Tell a joke. Uh, finally, the turtle spoke. <laughs> one, one, You're so quiet. A, a policeman w was uh, driving along. He saw a car swerving along the road. Yeah. And he stopped the car. He looked inside, and there's a priest in the car. He said, "Have you been drinking yes. or something?" So the um, priest said, "No, no. I, I've only wait, been wait. drinking this water here in the Absolutely. back." So the policeman looks in the back of the car, there's a bottle of wine there mm -hmm. on the back seat. Mm -hmm. He picks up the bottle, he said, this isn't water. Mm. The, the priest said, my God, he, he's done it again, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's a good one. It's a good one. You got it? No. You don't? Okay. A priest drove the car. Chick check, chick check. So the police saw and stopped it. I said, Father, have you been drinking? You know, the priest. So I said, No, no, I just drink water. And the back there. And so the police look in the back and saw a bottle of wine, not water. So the priest said, Oh my God, it's a miracle. He did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus turned water into wine. <laughs> There's another one. A another similar, one. Yeah, yes, similar. Yes. Uh, not so funny, though. But uh, anyway, one day there was this motor crash. Two cars were destroyed completely. The two people who were driving got out. Yes. A man and a woman. They said to each other, "Look, we cars are completely wrecked, but we're perfectly okay. Not mm. one scratch." Yeah. It must be fate. Yes. So, the uh, the, the the man said, "And look at this uh, here in this uh, bottle of wine here. Mm -hmm. Everything else is destroyed, but this bottle of wine is completely <clears throat> untouched." Mm -hmm. It must be a sign that we should drink it. Mm -hmm. So um, the the woman said, "Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll split it." Mm -hmm. So the man said, "Okay, um, well, I'll open it. You here's your you you go ahead." And uh, the woman said, "You go ahead and drink yours uh, first. Mm -hmm. So he drinks half the bottle of wine. Yeah. He says to her, um, "Are you not going to drink your wine?" Mm -hmm. uh, she said, "No. I think I'll just wait till the police get here." Ah, the same. Then the police will blame all on the, the other person, understand? Yeah. yeah? Okay, that's what it is. Oh, better don't drink, eh? <laughs> oh, we can blame you for anything. <laughs>